You may have heard the story of Laika, one of the first Earth creatures to travel into space. But do you know why this happened, or how she prepared for the experience? Most importantly, do you know the outcome? Animal Wise explains more about this incredible true story. The United States and the Soviet Union were in the midst of a space race, but both knew that sending a human to space was very risky. No one wanted to take the risks posed by the uncertainty. Unfortunately, it was decided animals could go as an experiment. Several stray dogs were collected from the streets of Moscow for this purpose. These dogs were considered more prepared for space travel as they had to endure extreme weather and starving conditions as a matter of course. Laika, a medium-sized mongrel with a pleasant and calm character, was one of them. As they were intended to assess the effects of space travel, these dogs had to undergo harsh and cruel training. They were placed in centrifuges which simulated rocket acceleration and put in machines which imitated the nose of the spacecraft. They were progressively enclosed in increasingly smaller cages to adjust to life in the cramped space capsule. Obviously, the health of these dogs was declining with this training. The acceleration, simulation and noise caused severe blood pressure increase in the animals. They also stopped urinating and defecating due to their small cages, so laxatives had to be administered. Due to her calm nature and small size, Laika was finally chosen on November 3rd, 1957 to make the trip aboard Sputnik 2. The story they told the public was that risks had been minimized and that she would be safe inside her space capsule. This was not the case. The dog was said to have died painlessly as the ship's oxygen ran out, but this was a falsification. So what actually happened? It wasn't until 2002 that the people involved in the project told the sad reality. Laika died a few hours after starting her journey in a state of panic and overwhelmed by the overheating of the ship. Sputnik 2 continued to orbit space with Laika's remains for an additional five months before returning to Earth in April 1959. The ship burned up in contact with the Earth's atmosphere. The head of the training program for cosmonaut dogs, Dr. Vladimir Yazdovsky, knew perfectly well that Laika was not going to survive. For this reason, days before her trip, he decided to welcome her into his home so that she could enjoy what would be the last days of her life. During this brief stay, Laika felt the company of a human family and played with children in their home. This was the only destination Laika deserved, to be happy with a family. A living, innocent being suffered for the insensitivity of human beings. But Laika's story and contribution to history will live on forever. If you want to know the story of another dog that made history, here we leave you a video about Smokey, the dog that became a war hero. Tell us what you thought of the story of Laika by leaving a comment, and we'll see you next time.